I've been working on building this power supply for a couple of weeks now. Actually, probably several months that I think about it. Because basically I want to have something to mess around with to try and go back to when I went through electronic principles. And kind of bring back some of that knowledge or maybe instead of when I was 19 and thinking about things I shouldn't have. Actually think about things that might be worth knowing such as troubleshooting down to the component level. So I've been building this power supply. And I'm going to have two variable power supplies in here that I control with a potentiometer. And it had been a while since I set one of those up. And if woodworking has taught me anything, is that if I don't have to make it permanent, I'm not going to as I make sure it works. So hence, three billion alligator clips. So I've got my little buck booster right here. And I've got it up, set up with my potentiometer. And it seems like about the highest I can get the voltage to go up is about 11 and a half volts. Ultimately, it's bringing in 12 volts through the main power supply before I branch it out. So if I turn the potentiometer, you'll see that the gauge for the uh, digital actually starts to light up as it gets enough voltage. But bam And you'll see the lights start to kick on on the little uh, buck booster, too. So there's a little bit of a delay as it catches up, but I should be able to fine-tune the voltage that I want to work with. And so I can go all the way up to about 11 and a half volts DC, and then it's eh, a little bit less than 2 amps for what it's registering. But I still have to go through and make sure that that's the correct value, and that uh, I may want to consider putting in a, uh, a shunt resistor in it after all. Yeah, that's the update so far. I think it might actually be time to start soldering.